Welcome to Atul Mond. I guess you can hear me properly. Can someone please tell me whether you can hear me properly? Max, you, Mini, and Subodhi. Okay, so I'm just going to brief out what we are going to do in this uh, 1000 MCQ uh, seminar series uh, because uh, lots of people had uh, problems related to the content and the way that I'm just going to explain the things. And also, I must say that uh, I'm really sorry about choosing this time. Lots of students had uh, just said that uh, they will be having other classes and all. But anyways, uh, I'll be just uh, sending a recording of this one to the group as well. Uh, but don't quit because uh, it's uh, good if you can just stay here and uh, continue to just uh, check certain kind of uh, like uh, we can just do a competence test here. So uh, I won't be just talking about everything, but uh, the way that I'm going to just uh, do things in the MCQ seminar will be just uh, briefed out here. Okay, so for the people who the, don't know about me, I'm Devindi. Uh, currently working as a lecturer at University of Ruhuna and uh, my favorite area is about French so I'm just conducting this one, these things uh, uh, for the interest of myself and uh, for the sake of the students welfare as well. Okay so that's a briefing about myself so uh, just to start up um, like in the 1000 MCQ book so I wanted to just show it to you so this is actually uh, a lot of effort that I have put into this one just to create this one. Uh, so there are 1000 MCQs included here in two parts. So I have just uh, created 500 questions and 500 questions and uh, both of the parts are here together in the booklet. So I could just show this one over to you. So this is it. I guess you can see it. Okay, yeah. So this is the booklet that you will be receiving. Um, so in this course, uh, what we are going to just do is I'm going to just use a uh, thousand plus presentations. You know that it's about a 20 day course. Uh, so I will be having 20 presentations. I guess you can hear the, uh, you can see this one. So there will be 20, present 20 presentations uh, where they will be just uh, talking about each and every question that you will be having there in your book. Okay, so this is how the presentations are made there, uh, which means like you will be, uh, you have to just finish up each 50 questions that I'm going to uh, ask you to finish up on that day. Can it that? May Prashna Panaha Karangin Nikiramam Kino, it was all at the end. You are just going to, uh, yeah, sort out your problems with me. I'm just going to discuss each question in terms of their grammatical overview, like this. Okay. And I'm just going to explain the things and you are going to ask me questions if you have any problems. Okay, yeah, that is it. Uh, so for all the 20 days, there will be like um, overviewed presentations and that's it about it. Uh, so, and the commencement of this course will be on 1st of September and it will be for 20 days uh, throughout the month of September. We'll be just selecting out convenient days and we are going to just uh, go through these questions in terms of uh, their grammatical overview. And the registrations will be closed by 20th August this month. Okay, yeah. Uh, so now I want you to take out a paper because I want you to just put down numbers from one to 10. We are going to discuss uh, 10 questions here and uh, you can just keep them with you. I won't be asking you marks. I'll be just asking like um, a common answer where like uh, the students who have got above eight or something, you can just raise your hands there, but it doesn't matter. Let's check this one. So this course is solely for you to just check and revise and improve your knowledge. So please take out a paper and put numbers from one to 10. So when I just uh, show you the question, when the question pops up on the screen, you are going to just find out the answer and write it there. When I'm explaining it, try to take the rule into your head and just mark it whether wrong or sorry, right or wrong. Okay, so take a piece of paper and put numbers from one to 10. I have just demonstrated a sample. You can just put the numbers like this. Okay, so let's get started. So the first question that you will be getting, like there will be like simple questions and there will be some questions that will assess some uh, uh, 
difficult uh, grammar areas, I would say. Okay. So, yeah, because uh, like uh, this language is vast. So, we have to just uh, get certain rules that are like uh, fair for everyone. So, I just took some kind of a simple one at first. So, don't use dictionaries. Try to just do it yourself right now. I'll be giving you 30 seconds. Also, you can send me your answers through the chat box as a direct message, not to everybody. Okay, so the time is up. Let's see whether you have got the answer right. So, Netsua blank plus dong blank a call kela tiana. So, here I have just given the overview. This is how I'm going to do the respective question in terms of the overview in our seminar as well, in our class series as well. So, netsua means it's coming from the verb netsoye to clean kena verb beka. And the blank class dong blank class a call kela tiana. So, Actually, you when you see the when you look at the answers, you can see that's all about the possessive adjectives. So the rule here that we are just concentrating is about possessive adjectives. Okay, so clean your so because uh, we can see tontate here, so we have to just take your. Uh, you can see that I have highlighted it here. So clean your class in your school. That's what you want to say here. So, if you have taken the answer C, that's the correct answer because of the reason, like, uh, first of all, like, you have to just check on the um, gender and the number of the noun that you are referring. So, you can see class is feminine singular. So, you have to use ta. But here, there is something significant. A call is also feminine. The thing is, there is a special rule there when feminine nouns begin with a vowel or an unsound h you can see that it's e here which means a vowel okay instead of ma tasa we are going to use mon tong song that's why instead of ta that is appearing here it's tong that has to be taken okay so netwa ta class dong tong e call which means clean your class in your school Okay, that rule is concentrated about uh, the possessive adjectives that are used in French language. So I guess like most of you have got it right. And now we are going to just uh, start the second question, doing the second question, number two. You can also send me your answers once you're done with the writing. So most of you have given, most in the sense, almost all of you have given the answer C. Might be like you have consider you have been considering lay call as a place, but the thing here is because of just uh, the letter E agreement that is coming up here, you might have heard about the preceding direct object rule. Make a relative pronoun This is coming up when we are learning about. Uh, the pronouns, direct object pronouns, indirect object pronouns, preceding direct object rule, rule okay, okay, preceding direct object rule, okay, preceding object rule, direct object rule, what happens is, when you get a direct object, at the beginning of a sentence, uh, that is linked to the next part of the sentence, using the relative pronouns, either ker or key, Look at this rule. When the direct object comes forward with the relative pronoun, the past participle which follows should be agreed. We have the direct object that has to be taken before, I would say, okay. Okay, so okay precedes the direct object. So the verb that is coming in the next part of the sentence. If it is a passe composite or plus capafe or something which is having auxiliary and past participle, auxiliary ko koi past participle ko tiena verb that past participle has to take the agreement. Look at this one. I have given some more examples. Le fleur, the flowers, ke that jayashite song bell. The flowers that I bought are beautiful. So le fleur, it is feminine plural. So we are going to agree the past participle. Look at this one too. Le roman que je, je live, uh, song and raison. The novels that I read are interesting. So you can see le roman, masculine, plural. So you are going to put just an S to agree that one. There's a, another one. Les ordinateurs que j'ai 
Javé Pri song share. I mentioned that it's not just for passé composé, but also for plus que parfait. Are compound verbs, auxiliary past participle. Yana wana make in a system make it awati, which means the direct object, which is followed by ke or ki, that has a compound verb. The passé past participle of the compound verb will be agreed. The method agreement eka kwela na muk the pre ki ane ke. This is masculine plural. So, therefore, it is remaining as the same. If not, make a pre letter, you are going to put S because of the other is masculine plural. And according to that preceding direct object rule number two, this is not taking the relative clause U, but the relative clause K. Raise your hands if you got my point. Now make a me rule like a dana tang make a chutak matakatiaga namari. But if you know this particular rule, then you can just revise a bit. Okay. So we will be just coming across all the five rules in the MCQ seminar. Make it in a preceding direct object rule like uh, All the five rules will be just uh, uh, learned through these questions. So don't worry about it. So we are going to move on to the third question. Okay. So let's discuss the answer. So it's related to the C clause and almost all of you have sent the answer, answer C, and that's correct. So here, what you need to know is uh, what or which tenses that you could use in C clause because we can't use all the tenses. In the C clause, you can, you can only use le présent, l'imparfait, and le plus que parfait. And they are, um, respectively, in the main clause, you have to use Le futur, conditional present and conditional passé. So here in this particular sentence, let's keep the meaning of it. Let's look at the verb conjugation. So see the Parisian, so you had to put the verb here. And in the main clause, you can see a verb conjugation. So this particular verb conjugation is in condi uh, conditional present, which means would would plus infinitive can a sentence so here because it's using conditional present in the main clause you essentially need to use am parfait in the c clause okay so let's now see the meaning by just putting this answer prene see the parisian prene plus transport on common iliorem on the polisium which means if the parisians prene were taking uh public transportation, the more there would be less pollution, okay? There would be, there is, there are, there would be, because would plus infinitive is the conditional present tense translation. So there would be less pollution. So that is why, uh, so you don't need to even uh, translate this one in your head. You can just identify this if this table is, the, if this particular table is in your head. Okay, so that is about the C clause, the third question. Moving on. Fourth question. Il est possible qu'il blank raison. Okay, I have got a few answers. Uh, let's check whether it's correct. For this one, you need to know about the lesson Sujantif. Actually, for the A-level students, uh, you will be having a uh, present Sujantif only. Only for the uh, university students that they will be having past and future future kele kak na hattaram sujjanti pala so present and past dekha vitarai tiyenne future kele kak na hai so for you you will be having only present subjunctive but it's also a confusing lesson so if you got the answer b that's correct so the reason is ile possible ka it is possible that kene ka it's an impersonal construction that is using sujjanti in the main clause okay so here ile possible ka you can see that is um, appearing here in the impersonal constructions list where the sujjantif is used. Sujjantif pavichikarna thang dolahak tina doloheng atavenye katamai impersonal constructions kiane. So there you can see ile possible ka appearing in the list and we have to know that therefore it is used in sujjantif. So ile possible kill blank raison. So here answer A, B, See, all the three answers are subjunctive. Now, then the next thing is you have to find out the meaning. Because if answer A, B, C, all the three answers are just uh, in the subjunctive conjugation, we can't use all of them. No? We have to find out the best answer. 
So the meaning here is it is possible that they have reason, they know reason, they are right. So the way that you are going to say that. So actually, il uh, we are going to say they are right. Just to say someone is correct, you are going to say our reason. I'll just write it here to say that someone is correct. Okay? To be correct. To be correct, can with the French willing, it's not ether, it's our. Okay? So with our, you are going to just use this one. Raison. Okay, with our way, you are going to use raison, and that means to be correct. It's an our construction. I would say that it's an our construction. To be correct, our raison. So, since this, uh, like, this is also not assessing only the subjunctive knowledge, but also your knowledge with regard to the our constructions, like after fair constructions, the animal. Uh, constructions to be happy. The metana awa fam, uh, it pass a awa base one, eva gapetina, awa constructions, eva ge katamai, metiene. So you need to find out them as well, those lists as well, uh, in order to be good in language usage. Okay, so awa raison means to be correct. So therefore, we are going to use that construction here. Anyways, it has to take subjunctive here, uh, no matter what. So it is possible that they are right. Il est possible kill a raison. Okay, that's the rule. That is about subjunctive. Moving on to the fifth question. So the common answer is except for one person, the all the others are saying answer D. Okay, yeah. Uh, so the answer should be answer D because of the reason uh, that it's used in subjunctive. I mentioned earlier that uh, there are 12 places in French where you need to know uh, that it is using subjunctive. Out of those 12, hang, the third one is verbs of doubt. So when you have verbs like ponze, crua, etrusir, plus ker, and a dependent clause. So in the dependent clause, you are going to use the subjunctive. But there is another uh, problem that is popping up here. When these verbs are in the positive form, ponze, crua, etrusir, I think, I believe, I am sure. I'm asking you. Now I'm asking this question from you. Okay. So when you have something like, I think that. I believe that, I'm sure that, he's sure that, he believes that, he thinks that. Are there any problem with the sentence? Can Mangahani verb a concentrate color baluha make a problem? I think that he will come to him. Is there a problem? Yes or no? Please talk. I think that I believe that. I am sure that. Is there a problem? Yes or no? It's okay to make mistakes. Just tell me whether what you think. What do you think? If I say I believe that, I think that, I'm sure that, do you think that I have a problem? Please talk. Okay, I have got some uh, written answers saying yes. No. W what I want to say is, look at the subjunctive usage here. You can see the little boxes here, right? So when you have the verbs sponsor, crua, and atres here, which means to think, to believe, to be sure. So when you use them in the positive form, I think that, I believe that, 
I'm sure that he thinks that she thinks that they think that they're sure that if you get something like that in the positive form, you are not going to use sujjantif, which means you are going to use the general present tense conjugation there. If you want to say, I think that he he comes, you can just say, Japan's kill beyond just in the general present tense conjugation or maybe just in any change that you need to write. But if you have these verbs in the negative or question forms, for an example, I don't think that he will come. I, be I don't believe that she will do that. I'm not sure that she will come. If you want to say such a sentence using the negative form, you can think of, ah, this is unsure. The sureness and the unsureness, okay? Whether you are sure or unsure about something. I think that I believe that I am sure that that's like certain, which means like uh, uh, the possibility of happening is there. But if you say, I don't think, I don't believe, he's not sure. He's not sure about his results. There is a doubt. So verbs of doubt will be using sujjantif if they are coming with negative and question form. Okay, so if you want to say, I don't think he's coming, you will be saying, je ne pense pas qu'il vienne. So there you are going to use the uh, verb venir in subjunctive conjugation. Okay, and also in the question form, do you think he's coming? Uh, do you believe that she will do it? Uh, are you sure? I, like, uh, is she believing that he will come for sure? So they are like the, like, uh, the the fact is unsure. So there are, you are going to use exclusive forms kill VN. So you can see when you just differentiate between the positive form along with the negative and the question form, the positive form has a possibility of happening. But in the negative and the question forms, you are uncertain about the fact. So they will be using sujantif. So Please understand, this is something more than that. You will be using subjunctive here, but imagine if you if you have je pense kila. I think that kila tibbana. What would be your answer? Yeah, if you had uh, this one without nerpa, what would be your answer out of these answers? Yeah, so. I got one answer from Vandana. So she says that it's answer A. Yeah, obviously, like it has to be answer A. Why? What's the reason? Because uh, uh, verbs of doubt, Ponce, Croa, and Ethrosur, when they are used in the positive way, you won't be using sujjantif. But since we have it here uh, in the negative form, we had to use sujjantif because with the uh, negative and the question forms with Ponce, Croa, and Ethrosur, we will be considering them as verbs of doubt and we are going to use sujjantif there. Raise your hands if you are clear about that particular rule according to this context. Okay. I guess the others too. Okay. Yeah. So that's uh, a bit of what I wanted to share today. So we only came across 10 questions. So can you please raise your hands if you got 10 out of 10? Can you please raise your hands if you got, if you have got 10 out of 10? Nobody, which means you have to still study. Okay, one person has got, I guess so. Okay, uh, if you have got 10 out of 10, then it means like uh, you have uh, like kind of studied, but you still have to study. Uh, and if you at least got nine, which means you have to just study a lot because this is just Okay, this is a language, it's really vast. Okay, it's it's great. So you had to just go through each and every nook of corner, uh, which means you had to study a lot. And that's why like it's not 100 questions, 200 questions. It's just a uh, thousand questions that I have added here just to learn uh, everything uh, from this overview related uh, discussion. So if you have any problems that is uh, oh, that are related to what we have done today, or maybe like what we are, what we are going to just uh, think of the cause and everything. Like you can just uh, raise your questions now. I I can just give we give you two minutes for that. If you have questions about the time and all about this one, uh, please make sure that you understand that it's uh, with a lot of time, a lot of 
uh, like uh, problems that I'm just encountering and like uh, dedicating my time to do this. So I'll be just uh, taking convenient times uh, for you all. Uh, and also uh, from the 20 days, uh, I can't assure like which time that we'll be just uh, doing the thing. I mean, like the, I have chosen two time slots, 4 p.m. and uh, 7 p.m., 7 or 7.30. So it, uh, if you miss anything, anyways, like you will be receiving the recording. So don't worry about it. Uh, so you won't be missing anything if you are working hard. And also like uh, you will be doing a lot of homework and uh, tw 20 days means around 40 hours or maybe more, 40 to 50 hours that you will be staying with me to discuss these matters. So it will be an investment for your exam and the future head. No questions? Days uh, will be just uh, planned at the end of this particular month because I want to see my schedule for the next month, the way that I have to conduct the lectures at university and all uh, will make it uh, Yeah, no, so I can't just decide on the dates at the moment. But anyways, like within the month of September, I'll be just completing this one. So in the month of September, we have 30 days. No? So I'll be using 20 days out of those 30 days just to finish this up. Within the month, I'll be just finishing it up. Anyways, anyhow, if you miss any particular uh, class, you will be uh, getting the record recordings. So you won't be missing anything. No questions. Okay, then, uh, so hoping to see you there. And that's it. Then uh, please make sure that you just uh, pass the message to your friends as well. So, yeah, good luck with your studies and all.